The difference between worldly sorrow and godly sorrow, I think, are, are night and day. You know, uh, we do a lot of work at, at an abortion clinic locally, and you often see women either entering the clinic and they're weeping or they're leaving weeping, um, but they've actually gone through with the abortion. Uh, you can talk to a lot of different folks and it, they can have tears, genuine tears, uh, where they feel that they've done wrong and they've been racked by guilt, but it doesn't lead them to a wholesale change of life and a re uh, realignment of their allegiance from the devil to Jesus Christ. Uh, worldly sorrow doesn't actually lead to, to repentance and a change of heart, whereas godly sorrow is, is sorrow that acknowledges that I am undone, like we read about in Corinthians. Um, we, we see that uh, I was doing wrong and I was actually going my own way and now I want to live and I want to walk according to God's ways. Um, it, it's a clinging to the Lord. It's a recognition that um, if He does not save me, I am totally undone. There's nothing that I can do. And so it's a, it's a total reliance on Him. Whereas again, worldly sorrow, it doesn't actually result in any permanent change. It doesn't really result in any um, affection for God. Whereas uh, the, the, the sorrow that we read about, the godly sorrow in the Bible, uh, totally changes our view and our affection for the living God.